Hello friends, I'm Um and today we're diving in a fantastic world of application Anyweaver which has allowed me to increase my productivity of my workflow of various devices by multiple times and with that application now I can work with a synchronicity across my Windows laptop and my Android tablet and I will say though as a free application it works pretty well. So let's get started shall we? Now let me first clear out some misconceptions after you have seen that this video is sponsored. But it's not. You see the team of Anyweaver approached me to review their product, their application and asked me to create a video about it. And due to a lot of problems going on on my home, my board examinations along with the construction which is going right now, I was not able to create videos about Anyweaver at all and I'm really sorry for that. But yep, here I am fixing the mistake and apologizing them for being so late to create videos about it. But here I am. So let's, well, it's open. So this is the website of Anyweaver right now here. Let me just remove my face cam. There it is. And as you can see, they have a version for individuals as well as business. And it is available on Windows, Mac OS, iOS and Android. Unfortunately, it's not available for Linux till now. And I believe they will not switch to Linux or maybe they will. But let's just explore its features firsthand. So according to them, they provide a high performance remote desktop across the devices. For example, I have my Android and Windows. So I can just control my Android device from my Windows laptop or I can do that vice versa. I can control my Windows laptop from my Android tablet as well. So that is indeed a nice thing. And yes, these are claims are true. They have low latency modes, the connection is pretty good and the picture quality is pretty nice. And here are the features. They have remote support, remote access. They can play games from any viewer as long as you have a good internet connection. You can, con you know, file transfer and you can access your mobile from your computer or do the vice versa. And the thing which I use the most is the screen mirroring. And then they ensure that this application is completely secure and our data is safe with them. And according to me, they have a pretty great application here. So if you just want to download it, go to the individuals or just download it from there. You see, there it is. They have this freeware application. If you don't know about freeware, then freeware applications are those which are available for free, but they're not open source. Their source code is not available online for everyone. And yes, it also has a little different name like proprietary but free application, which is really okay in my opinion. And yes, they do provide 60 FPS with high quality picture with very low delay as long as you have a better or a high Wi-Fi support here. So this is the application which I was talking about. So I created an account and logged in in both of my devices. As you can see, there are two devices logged in. So if I want to just connect something, then I can just go to the devices. I've already connected it, but in order to connect for the first time, you just have to type these device IDs. Let me just switch to my tablet, which I can do right from here. You see, there it is. I've already connected my device. And now I just have to click this and there it is connecting right here. Let me just close the application and make it into landscape mode. Now currently it is connected on hotspot. So it's obvious that my Wi-Fi isn't that great and that is why I switched to low latency but high speed connection. And yeah, another thing, the display connected right now is actually 4K. Yep, my tablet is 4K, I don't know why. Now as you can see, it is pretty okay in my opinion. It is pretty smooth, but due to my Wi-Fi, the picture quality isn't that great. But all in all, it's almost 60 FPS as you can see right now. But in order to properly show you that it is 60 FPS, I just do this. Now, as you can see, it is so damn smooth, isn't it? Yep, it is. And working with it is pretty nice as well. No, 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 no personal information should be shared online. But besides that, let me just show you my Discord. It's not my Discord, it's our Discord. And if you still have not used it, then well, you should. And yes, this is our Discord channel in which all the Linux users or Linux fans or any person who is interested in my content has joined. And yep, every once in a while we talk about a few stuff here and there. Mostly it's greeting newcomers. But yep, just like this user Mr. Grable Man who wanted this wallpaper 
wait he does he didn't wanted it he actually shared the wallpaper to the person who was in need and then we talk about a few stuff here and there every now and then so if you are my real subscriber then don't forget to join our discord channel which is linked in the description now let me just show you the camera application let me just turn this and as you can see this is pretty okay in my opinion like as you can see the latency is pretty great and yeah as i said construction is going on here in my home the room in which i used to create content so i'm here in the bedroom and yes as you can see the latency is pretty great as you can see right there mm -hmm. the latency is good and the picture quality is also good as well so now you have the idea of how great this application is the real work which i do are actually from here i color create all my thumbnails right from here let me just show you how so this is Google Photos with awesome controls and awesome features. But the most important one is the pop feature. Just look at how great it makes my thumbnails. And yes, it has an HDR option as well. So now you know how I create my thumbnails. Well, I create them in Canva, but I color create them here just like this one. I first pop them out. Just look at the difference. And then I increase the HDR effect. And now I can tinker with all the other options as well. And as you can see, it is looking pretty great. Yep, mostly this is how I created this last thumbnail. Just like this. Yep, it's complete. But I've already created a video and used this thumbnail. And yeah, this wallpaper had the greatest effects of these features. When I pop them out, it gets so damn good. Just look at the difference. It pops every particular element of the device and makes it amazing. And I used AnyViewer to do this particular thing most of the time. My tablet is just lying around somewhere and I'm controlling it right from my laptop here. Now let me show you let me just show you the other features of any viewer as well. So here we are on it on their application and yeah till now I was using their standalone version or the application which I don't need to install I just have to double click this and the application will be opened without installation. Now this is really great. Well you see, in the desktop version, you might you might not see all the application features, but in the Android application, which is the app which works on the other end, there you'll find the real deal. Let me just open any viewer. I believe I should go to original ratio, but it'll be a way too much. Like first, it's 4K. That is why I might just need to do this. All right, 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 right. So I cannot display the application itself from the application on the other hand. Yep, that makes sense. And there's nothing wrong about that as well. So let me just close it. And there it is. Now, if I increase the quality to balance, now you might see a little stutters as you can see right there. Well, there are no stutters and the quality is actually increased. It's just the picture is delayed a little, but nothing wrong. You see there, you see this stutters? That, that's the thing I was talking about. But besides that, everything is pretty good. And yeah, using applications from here is actually great. So I believe that's it for today's video. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you do, then subscribe for daily, not daily, not even consistent because, you know, construction's going down in my room. So I'll not be able to create videos properly. And this will continue till like December. And then I have another examination which will start the first week of December. So yep, I'm gonna be really not consistent. But still, if you have liked the video, then don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content which will be uploaded on this channel, not consistently. And I'll meet you in the next video. Till then, I'm Oom, signing out.